25 May 2020, George Floyd, a 46-year-old unarmed black man, was murdered in Minneapolis, U.S. by Derek Chauvin, a white police officer who pressed his knee on Floyd's neck for 8 minutes and 46 seconds in broad daylight in front of dozens of witnesses. George Floyd's murder, which was recorded live by witnesses, sparked weeks of massive protests against racism and police brutality across the U.S. and around the world. Coming after a long list of other similar murders, George Floyd's murder became the symbol of the urgency to end systemic racism and police brutality now, once and for all. The international community has a role to play. That's why families of victims of police violence in the U.S., supported by the American Civil Liberties Union, the U.S. Human Rights Network, and over 600 organizations from across the world, turned to the U.N. Human Rights Council to call for an international investigation on systemic racism and police violence against black people in the U.S. And we now hear a, a video message from Mr. Philonis Floyd, the brother of Mr. George Floyd. You watched my brother die. That could have been me. I am my brother's keeper. You in the United Nations are your brothers and sisters' keepers in America. And you have the power to help us get justice for my brother George Floyd. I am asking you to help him. I am asking you to help me. I am asking you to help us, black people in America. Led by African countries, the UN Human Rights Council held an urgent special meeting in June 2020 to discuss such an international investigation. It was the first time in the Council's history that an international investigation was requested on a permanent member of the UN Security Council. This was made possible because of the massive protests and the mobilization of activists and victims' families. Madame la Présidente, il est important de noter que l'Afrique, à travers elle, le Conseil des droits de l'homme, a entendu les cris des Africains et des personnes d'ascendance africaine et leurs partisans pour l'égalité de traitement vis-à-vis -vis des droits humains fondamentaux pour tous. We all have a responsibility not to minimize the issue, not to generalize the issue, and not to diminish it, because that would be a form of racism in itself. Yet, as a result of the pressure from the US and its allies, the international investigation was replaced by a report by the UN High Commissioner for Human Rights due in June 2021. Through statements, open letters, and other tools, civil society and victims' families are maintaining the scrutiny and the pressure at the UN and are calling for an international investigation. Their contributions are essential, and their voices must continue to be heard at the UN. Beyond any specific policy change, we need people worldwide to demand an end to the routine killing of black people uh, by the police in America. Madame la Haute Commissaire, en Suisse aussi, la police tue. En Suisse aussi, la vie des Noirs pèse peu aux yeux de la justice. En France, le cas d'Adama Traoré, tué par la police et dont le groupe de travail s'était saisi dès 2017, traîne devant les tribunaux depuis plus de 4 ans. En termes judiciaires, classements non lieu à répétition, voire harcèlement judiciaire, sont le lot des victimes de telles violences de leurs proches et de leurs défenseurs. Cette violence dans des villes avec une overwhelming présence d'Africains comme like Cato, Chicago, Bogota et Rio de Janeiro, reveals systemic racial bias manifested in terrorizing race. The United States must address systemic racism more broadly by supporting reparations. The UN High Commissioner's report will be presented at the 47th session of the UN Human Rights Council in June-July 2021. This is a unique opportunity for activists to hold states accountable for systemic racism, police violence and impunity. The mobilization continues. L'attente au niveau de la communauté internationale, c'est qu'elle continue à faire pression au niveau euh, politique et judiciaire pour que les personnes qui commettent des violences policières et des meurtres puissent être euh, incarcérées et qu'elles se soient punies par la loi euh, à la hauteur de leurs actes.